Well, there's been a substantial change in the way the building is uh, used. There's a, a huge volume of people now coming through the door. Um, and it's just the, the nature and the kind of atmosphere has changed completely. Um, on a Saturday or Sunday, it's pretty much a conveyor belt between film screenings, uh, the cafe and the bar is thriving. But kind of further, uh, the, the further impact um, is quite substantial as well, where people maybe from further afield will not only come and watch a film, but they'll spend uh, elsewhere in the town. Um, so, so there's a wider economic benefit as well. Uh, within the extension, we've got obviously the new uh, cinema screens. Uh, the largest is 119 seats, the smallest 65, so two kind of um, comfortable uh, cinemas. Uh, we also have new offices for uh, staff where we're all in the one roof, um, a new box office. We've got a shop uh, selling different uh, work from artists from uh, Wales and beyond. We've also got a wet room, uh, a space for workshops um, for adults and children. And we've got a new um, or an additional meeting room as well. The Caelechi uh, project is uh, the area of land behind me here, which is commonly known as the island site, which, which is owned by the Harbour Trust, which, which really became fairly derelict. Uh, we received some money a few years ago to safeguard the site, but the, we obviously needed to do something at, at the site. It was an embarrassment to the Harbour Trust, and it certainly was an embarrassment to the town being very close to the castle, a World Heritage Site, and our building, which was a grade uh, two listed building. Um, and, and so we proceeded to, to try and fund a, a development there, and uh, we've been successful with the Heritage Lottery for re receiving grant money, to, and we hope to have 19 units there for small, medium-sized businesses and three holiday lets. Um, the, the, the main problems on the site is that when, when you've paid for all the buildings, the, bu the buildings aren't actually worth the money you've actually invested in them, uh, which is something called the conservation deficit. So we're very, it's a difficult site to work on and uh, as you can see behind the workers are, are there at the moment and uh, everything is on programme at the moment. Well, Gwynedd had a strategy to, to work through the town. They, they started at Victoria Dock, uh, that area. Um, they've also done work on, on the square. Um, and this was seen as the, th as the third priority. Um, uh, as I said, it, it, we're trying to create a destination here um, and, and the, the, the existing site w was not fit for purpose. And so with a bit of luck, uh, when the units are full, uh, it will become a vibrant area. We'll be creating a little promenade uh, on, the, on the river side of the development and we hope to bring some more life there and it'll be, it'll be somewhere where somebody can spend a little bit more time. Our hope of course uh, in general is that people, more people can visit. Um, it's seen as a, a destination by a must visit by the um, Welsh Government and, and this is part of it. But we also want to make the, the, the people of the area to be proud of the area as well. I mean, it, it was a, a run down and we hope that, um, you know, it, it'll improve the area in general and it'll give a better feeling for the community. Uh, we have involved the local community. A number of arts groups have set up and used the previous Gewala Rane site. Um, and we hope, we hope uh, traditionally this was an area where there were slate merchants and so and the, of course the site of the old Brunswick works, um, doing heavy work with uh, engineering etc. We hope to bring this creative people in and, and we've be, uh, through gallery we've been discussing with these and, we, and I genuinely hope that some of these may be interested in taking some of these small units. But we certainly the foundry will be, will be, made, will be made up and uh, we hope with equipment uh, and we hope that that will certainly bring a lot of young people uh, to bring some vibrant uh, ideas. So having this grant, we have been able to have a far more ambitious project with the station building, which is really what the project deserves. 
uh, to draw in more people to Carnarvon. We have first class facilities here now. For example, we have the changing places toilet, which is a toilet for people with multiple disabilities. Um, there are also new ticket facilities and the shop and the coffee shop, which will attract people to the station, not only for the trains, but to come and enjoy a cup of tea and a view. We expect that we can uh, grow the number of people that use the station. Currently about 100,000 people approximately pass through the station, use the station annually. Uh, the intention is to slowly over the coming years to increase that initially to 125,000 um, and growing from that. Um, this will not only help um, the business, but it also helps the, the, the area around the Slate Quay here, which has been currently being developed. There's several opportunities here for the local community, uh, initially of course in employment. Um, all the staff uh, that we are employing here are local people. Most of them Welsh speakers have been appointed here. There's also opportunities for the community to use the space, the event space here um, in the evenings or when trains are not running. Um, we also the cafe will, will in itself will draw people here for the view and to take um, a bit of time for themselves, you know, a bit of leisure. Also, that, that this will be sort of help to grow the Slate Key area um, with the added attraction of the station and other developments that are going on. Mm -hmm.